Hey guys, it's Deadlift here. Uh, welcome to Law Class's Beginner Guide on Lucian. Uh, Lucian's just like pretty much every other to carry. You run attack speed quints, attack damage reds, armor yellows, and for blues you can either run scaling or flat MR depending on the matchup. Um, you should pretty much know by now that you run flat when the enemy bottom lane has magic damage. Most of the time they will. If for some reason they don't, then you can just run scaling magic resist for the mid late game. So on every AD caster, I always take spell and blade weaving. Uh, Lucian's no exception. He weaves a lot of abilities in between his autos, so these are two really important mastery points to pick up. They're really cost efficient. Other than that, everything's pretty standard across the board. Lucian's one of those champions where there's just a cookie cutter build that everyone follows. You always go Q, then you always go E level 2, uh, and you're going to be maxing Q and then E and then W. Uh, ever since the nerfs to W, it's really not really worth it to max it. It does a lot less damage than before, and it scales worse, so just max Q and then E for that super mobility and burst. Start off every game with D Blade into one potion. Um, after that, you want to aim for BF Sword on your first buy. If you can't do that, then I recommend getting another Doran's Blade and Pots, or if you can afford it, a Pickaxe. Um, just pretty much buy whatever because Lucian can do anything. He's so versatile. Uh, but you want to aim for an early IE into Shiv. Infinity Engine to Shiv is just like the best two items spike in the game. So the sooner you can get that, the better. As for final build, uh, Lucian does Infinity Edge, Shiv, Last Whisper, Bloodthirster, and a defensive item of your choice. So GA, Banshees, or Mercurial. Uh, it really depends on the game. Most of the time you're probably going to get Banshees because you're snowballing really hard and you don't really need the offensive capability of Mercurial. But really late game you want to sell and just have Mercurial Scimitar instead of uh, whatever defensive item you have and sell your Shiv and get Phantom Dancer instead. Lucian's probably the best champion for carrying on AD carry, uh, both in solo queue and in competitive play at the moment. He's just incredibly versatile, and the best part about him is he has a very steady power curve. So if you're snowballing in lane, you'll be able to abuse this curve by just continuously snowballing. And if you're behind, it's totally fine because most other AD carries have dips in their power, while Lucian is always good. He can always be farming. His Q is just incredibly mana efficient. Um, he just shows up in team fights. He's one of the best six item AD carries as well. He's basically just never bad. And on top of that, he's a huge lane bully, so you should be able to win lane pretty easily, and if you don't, it's okay, because mid-game, he's probably one of the best as well. Um, Lucian really doesn't have very many weaknesses. I think the biggest one is his lack of range. So if you're not on top of your mechanics, you can really get screwed over by your 500 range. Um, it's going to take a while to get used to, but using his dash in and out of fights, using his calling at the appropriate times, and trying to use his Q through creeps, it's just a, a lot of ways you can manipulate his low range. But in the end, he is a 500 range AD carry, and if you screw up, you will be punished. So he has a really high skill ceiling, and I recommend, even if you fail your first couple of games with Lucian, you just keep trying because he's incredibly rewarding, and sometimes you're going to dash in and die, sometimes you're going to dash in and do absolutely nothing, but once you get him down, he's really, really good. Um, the most basic lane bully tactic on Lucian is just queuing through creeps. Uh, it's really simple, you just want to line up the creep in between your target, which most of the time is the enemy AD carry, and just use your Q to blast through it. Uh, another tactic that I like to use is waiting for them to CS. If you treat auto attacks like a cooldown, then when the enemy AD carry goes to get a last hit, his auto attack is essentially on cooldown for a second, maybe a second and a half, depending on the game. Um, that's your opportune moment to dash forward and use that auto attack reset to get two shots and a Q off, and then just run. Um, this is pretty much untradeable because they can't predict when you're going to dash forward, and they're not going to hold on to their auto attack and miss a CS just in case you do it. So just keep really close attention. If the enemy lane opponent goes for a CS, you can dash forward, get two autos off, and a Q, and just run. Uh, Lucian can pretty much do everything in team fights. He can poke, so before the fight, if you can get a good calling on the back line, try not to hit any tanks in the front, but if you can get a squishy or a support AD carry, AP carry, that's really good. Um, if you can't get your calling out before the team fight, it's okay. Just wait for the fight to engage, and then you can quickly dash in, get your autos off. Your dash will probably be back up after two or three rotations of your abilities, and then you can just decide if somebody's zerging you, dash backwards and kite him. If they're not zerging you, you can continue to dash forward and just do loads of damage. And if your ulti is up at the end of a fight, it's an incredibly good cleanup tool. It does the most damage against squishy targets. It does pretty much nothing versus tanks. So just try to hold off on using it until you can hit someone in the back. So tip number one, 
always try to use your cue not naked, like I say. Try to use it through something. Um, naked cues, 500 range, it's really hard to do that without getting punished or hit back. But if you try to cue through creeps, it instantly becomes a 1,000 range nuke. And it's really, really actually easy to line up if you practice it enough. Um, just try to get the angling correct. And make sure that the creep isn't moving already. And you can hit people through creeps all the time. And it's really, really hard for people to react to it. Um, generally, your W has such a long cast animation that you're not going to use it much. So you want to buffer your W into E. You can actually cast W and then dash at the exact same time. Just hit W and E at the same time. Um, your W will come out at the end of your dash, which will essentially overlap both animations and save you about half a second of auto attacking. It's a really small thing, but it's incredibly good when you're chasing people down. And you can't be bothered to stop your character so you can cast W. So try to always cast W and E together.